Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today, we're going to be talking about video calling. I'm going to be giving you my top five things to consider when video calling your customers. So let's get started. So the first thing to consider is that video calling is personal. This can be a really great thing for building rapport, but only if your agents are up to it. Video calling can be hugely successful if your agents are relaxed, confident, and competent in front of the camera. If the agent is uncomfortable in front of the camera, this can become quite awkward for the customer and conversation can then become jarring. So the second thing to consider is that you are visible. I know it might sound obvious, but remember that your customers can see you. Appearances count for a lot in making a good first impression, so make sure that your agents are well-groomed and smiling. It's also an excellent way of showing off your company's professionalism. If you have a state-of-the-art, incredible call centre, show it off. If you don't, make sure you tidy up first. The third thing to consider is making sure you have good audio-visual. Make sure your agents are in a well-lit space where the customers can hear them clearly. You might have the most fantastic agents in the world, but bad audio visual can be incredibly distracting for the customer. So the fourth thing to consider is to use video calling as a way to diffuse tension. In a lot of cases, customers are getting in touch with a contact center because they're unhappy with something. If a customer feels disconnected to the person at the other end of the phone, this can allow tension to rise quite quickly. Video calling can actually be used to help diffuse tension in these situations because the agent and the customer both can see that they're speaking to a real person and not just an empty voice at the other end of the phone. And the fifth thing to consider is body language. Studies have shown that up to 93% of communication is non-verbal. While it's important for agents to keep in mind their own body language, it's also really important to keep an eye on their customer's body language and any changes that they might see. Try to make the customer feel at ease and try to pick up on social cues. This can help keep the conversation honest and flowing in a positive direction. Cool, so those are my top five things to consider when using video calling. If you want to learn more, click the link above and head over to the Talkative website. See you soon!